Hello. Okay, wow. welcome to part 3 continuation. Okay, i-continue e, natin yung part 3 kanina. So, what do we have there? Okay, in the yung part 3 kanina, continuation na to, so that was 2001. Huh? Let's now design this beam using 2010. The same moment, 200, ang dead load moment, live load moment is 220. I hope na panood nyo yung part 1, part 2, and part 3. And ito yung continuation ng part 3. Tinutol ko kasi mahaba na yung video kanina. O, sige. So, ganun pa rin. No? First, your beta 1 is 0.85 because your FC prime is less than 28. Your raw balance, okay, 0 0.0283. Your raw mean, we don't have raw max for ano, ha? Uh, rectangular, I mean 2015 or 2010. So, your raw minimum is... Uh, 0 0.00337, we have solved that already kanina. Alright, the required strength. Okay, 1.4, uh, uh, 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 live load. Ayun. So that's 592 kN meter. Okay, ngayon. So let's start from the beginning talaga. No? So again, we do not know yet if this is singly or doubly reinforced. Although may sense na tayo, no? meron na tayong feeling na magiging ano siya, doubly, but Palagyan lang natin, wala ka pang idea kung mag-singly ba ito siya or doble. So assuming singly reinforced, so you will assume P of 0.9, then you will have your Rn, kuha mo yung Rn, mu over phi bd squared. Na? Your phi is 0.9. Then makuha mo na yung uh, uh, rho. Okay, we have done this in part 1 and part 2. Na? And then makuha mo na yung rho. And then notice that your rho is, look at this. Less than row balance pa rin siya, oh. although malit lang na yung diferensya niya. No? Less than row balance, ibig sabihin, mag-yield yung steel. Mag-yield yung steel. Ngayon, ang tanong, tama ba to? Tama ba itong ginagawa mo? No? Wala tayong row max, ha? baka hinanap yung row max. This is 2010 or 2015. Wala tayong row max. No? Okay, check natin. Ang atin lang dito, i-check natin kung tension control ba to. You have to solve for FS. Okay, sige. So, solving for FS, so makuha, na, makuha mo yung AS, di ba? Then may AS ka na, then masosolve mo yung uh, A by equating compressive force in concrete equals tension in steel. Then ito yung A. Uh, pinakita ko in part 1 paano nang gawa to, ha? Okay, ASFY. So your AS is 4227, uh, FC prime B, ang ating B is 300, then that will be 250.2. Makukuha ko yung C. Beta 1 is 0.85. Okay? Then, masolve ko na yung FS. Ha? FS. Check natin kung umabot ba ng 1,000. Tama ba yung ating in-assume? Kasi pag mag ka ng tension control, your FS must be 1,000 or up. Okay, look. Ang FS natin din is only 419. Tira nyo. nag siya. Yes, no problem. Pero... That's below, very far below 1,000 MPa. Meaning, hindi ka pwedeng gumamit ng 0.9. So, kung hindi pwedeng gumamit ng 0.9, so, okay, ibig sabihin, uh, mali ito. Mali din to. So, you cannot use these values. Ito yung nangyari pa rin sa part 2. Ha? Sa part 2 kasi ganun din. Pero I think this is parang 900 plus lang to. Pero hindi ko kinuntin niya yun. Dito ko na ipakita. Okay, we cannot use that. This has to be doubly reinforced. Ganon yan. Kapag yung nag-assume ka ng singly reinforced, ha, in 2010 or 2015, ha, assume ka ng singly reinforced, solving mo yung FS. Pag yung FS mo is more than 1,000, go ahead. That's singly reinforced. Kapag yung FS mo is less than 1,000, it has to be doubly reinforced. Wala na yung Romax. Wala na yun. Okay? Wala na yan. Okay, again, as in the third part kanina, we divide the section into two parts. We have here uh, concrete versus steel and steel versus steel. Pinakita ko na to kanina in the previous video. So ito yung ating A, ito yung ating centroid, ito yung ating moment arm. This will cause a strength of MN1 and this will cause a strength of MN2. The moment arm is D minus D prime. Okay, so nakita yung part Three, okay lang kanina. No? All right. Now, ito yan. So, here we will maintain, we have to use phi of 0.9. So, we will use attention controlled section. Your phi is 0.9. No? 
Okay. So, okay. Pwede ba? May ML na tayo. So, just like in uh, 2010, 2001, I mean, kukulin natin yung MM. Ha? So, your MU must not exceed PMM. Alright? So, yun. Then, makukuha ko yung MM. MM must not exceed. Or I will just use equal sign. 657.78. Okay? Now, paano ngayon yung AS1? Pati yung MN1. Kung naalala nyo, in 2001, ginamit natin yung AS Max. Remember that? Dito hindi. Wag, ha? Oh, ito yung gagawin natin. Para, okay, we will use the smallest stress, FS, na maging tension control siya. Di ba yung FS, ito yung formula? Iset natin to exactly to 1,000 MPa. Iset natin. That's the exact value. Strain of that is 0.005. No? Okay. Okay. So, by setting this to 1,000 MPa, makukuha natin yung C, 187.5. Actually, wala ito sa code. Dapat 1,000 yan. Pwede kang gumamit dyan ng 1,500. It's up to you. Ginamit lang natin yung limiting value niya, 1,000. Na? O, may C ka na, okay, 187.5. Makukuha mo na ngayon yung A and so on. Okay, another, actually may formula ito. This formula will give you this. Ito yung magiging formula niya. C is 3.8 of D. Subukan nyo, pag deriving mo yan, that's 3.8 of D. Kahit na gawin mo yan sa strain diagram, the strain in steel concrete is 0.003, the strain in steel is 0.005. Kaya yung 3 tsaka 5 naging 8. <coughs> okay? Pwede ka lang dumiretso dito. Next time. Then may A ka na, I mean may C ka na, makukuha mo na yung A. Okay, now you have your A, then you have tension T1 equals compression in concrete. Okay? Then, masusolve natin yung ating AS1. May A naman tayo. Okay? So, FY and then AB, masolve natin sa AS1. 2693. Hey, may AS1 ka na. O, parang kanina din sa 2001, with AS1 noon, masusolve mo na yung MN1. Para makuha natin yung MN2 later mamaya. Na? MN1 is T1 times the moment arm. T1 is AS1 FY. The moment arm is D minus A over 2. Then, makuha natin yung MN1. Okay. So, may MN1 ka na. And take note, your MN equals MN1 plus MN2. Your MN is also known here. Masolve na natin yung MN2. That will be MN minus MN1. 188.05. Okay. Punta tayo dito. So, what is MN2? That will be T2 times the moment arm. T2 is AS2 FY. The moment arm is D minus D prime. Okay? So with MN2 known, masolve mo na yung AS2. Okay na. So meron ka ng AS1 tsaka AS2. Makukuha ko na ngayon yung AS1 and AS2 here. Masolve ko na yung AS. And this is the answer for the tension steel area. This is now very similar solution, procedure sa ginawa natin kanina. The only difference is kanina, yung AS1 natin is AS Max. That's in 2001 code. But in 2010 or 2015, ito yung gagawin mo. Gawitin mo C equals 3.8 to B. That is if you're talking of rectangular section. No? Ah, sa bagay, kahit hindi pala. Any section, pwede ito. Kasi based lang to sa strain diagram. Okay. Okay, how about your FS prime? I mean, your AS prime. I have to check if this will yield or not. Huh? Yeah, check natin. Tinan mo na natin. Kanina ko naalala nyo, naalala nyo in 2001, nag-yield both. Kaya yung AS prime natin equals AS2. Tinan natin dito kung mag-yield ba. So, no na yung C natin, masolve natin yung FS prime. Okay? So, your FS prime is 392. Now, look, hindi siya nag-yield. But it doesn't matter. That does not make our assumption wrong. Tama pa rin yan. We did not use that naman kanina. Ha? So, kung hindi siya mag -yield, so equating this one, CS prime equals T2. Your CS prime is AS prime FS prime equals AS2 FY. Na? So, masob natin yung AS prime. Of course, the, the, it's not equal to AS2. Kanina, in 2001, FY kasi yan. Kaya, na-cancel. So, masob natin yung AS prime. 1,103. It's a bit higher than AS2. Your AS2 is uh, 1,042. Kasi maliit yung FS prime natin compared to FY. Now, of course, 1,103. Ayos. Okay. So, yun 
ang ating 2010. I hope nakuha nyo. Na? So again, uh, parehasin din kanina. May ibang, is there a way na hindi ka na mag assume na singly? Gaya na ginawa natin dito, nag-assume tayo na singly. Okay, meron mayro, bang paraan? Yes. Gaya na ginawa natin in 2001, magsimula ka dito. You start with this. Kunin mo yung MN1. Then after getting MN1, kunin mo yung fee MN1. Ito yung value niya. Ano yung ibig sabihin nito? Okay, ito yung uh, moment that this beam can support na tension control siya. Na singly, singly reinforced na tension control siya. So pwede siya maging singly reinforced na tension control. Meron kasi singly reinforced na hindi tension control. Transition. Meron. Na? Meron kung mag-investigate ka lang. Uh, ayan. Pero kung mag-design ka, isang advisable. Naliliit yung fee mo. Na? So ito yan. Kaya kung na-notice natin, yung MU mo, the request rate is 592, it's more than that value. So kaya, diretso ka na, it's doubly reinforced. Ganun yan. Kanina, ganun, ganun din naman. MN max lang yun kanina. MN max. Ah, ngayon, yun. Sorry, this is not fee MN max. Fee MN1. Um, sorry. Okay. Uh, fee MN1. Ito. Fee MN1. Okay. So, ah, tinan natin yung result. I-compare natin yung result in 2001. Ito yung 2001. Ah. Ginawa natin in part 3. Then yung previous video to this. Ah, in 2001, yung AS natin is 4,240. The same load. Ah, the same load lahat. Ngayon, 3,735. Totoo yan. Mas maliit ang... Mas kunti yung steel bar kung gagamitin mo na design is 2,000. 10 or 2015 compared to 2001. Basta tension controlled lang. Pero kung maglabpas ka na, no? maging transition na siya, maliit naman yung ano, marami namang steel bar kailangan. Kasi dinilis ka ng 2010, 2015 yung over-enforced. Kaya nababari yung fee niya. Okay? So dito nakita nyo, ito yung design natin in 2001. Ito naman yung ating 2010. Malaki yung agwat niya. Okay? So, yun ang ating uh, uh, beam design uh, 2001 and 2010. So, we started with singly reinforced and then naging doubly reinforced. Alright? So, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. You just rewind this and again, and you will learn for the reviewers. Ito yung kailangan ninyo, no? Free ito. Nagtataka kayo. Pero sige lang. Lockdown tayo. Wala akong magawa. No? Kaya, uh, uh, we are just uh, have this channel para sa inyo yan. So again, uh, I hope you learned a lot from the video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified every time we upload new videos. Okay, thank you so much.